Hey everybody, it's Lindsay Baker and I'm here in my kitchen with Lisa Carlin. What does that say, Lisa? Oh, she's she's scoping the food right now. Look at what we have so here. We are going to be making my amazing, according to what people say, guacamole. My oh, let's go over here. All guacamole right. that I make. And my ingredients are just a little different. I'm going to share it with you today. And we want you to participate by taking the challenge. Which of these fantastic products, you really can't go wrong with either one, do you prefer? Beyond Burger, Beyond Meat, or the Impossible Burger? What's your choice? Can you please comment? And we're gonna see how people vote. We'll do a taste test with Lisa Carlin afterwards and myself. And then we'll tally it up and check back a little bit later and we'll give you the results. That so sounds this great. It's going to be so much fun, isn't it, Lisa? So look at all the great things you have here. So you have all the fixings for burgers. So what do you have here? So what I have here is actually, I want to start with my secret guacamole sauce. So what I want to show you is that I put in and chopped up some guacamole, but I'm not going to do the whole thing in front of you. I'm only going to do one. Whoops, I moved my garbage can, but we'll get that. So as you can see, I just cut it in half and scoop it out with a spoon. Now on this side, some people say I'm a crazy, but I do this and take it out very easily. You have to be careful of your fingers and your hands, so don't, I'm not suggesting you to do that. Yeah, cheat it to us so we can see you yeah, scoop it out. So, um, yeah, I was yeah. scooping like this. Now you can see, I'll put this back, I just used like a whisk and chop it up. So since I did all the other ones already, this one I just have to chop in here. Now, the other secret thing that I do, it's not really a secret, a lot of people put in the lime, but you may not know that, you see how nice and green this is? Even though I did a little while ago, I cut the other half of the lemon, squeezed it in there, and that's lime. Gonna, Sorry, thank you, Lisa, the lime. Uh, and that's gonna be part of the uh, ingredients we put in. Now, if we go over here, you see I chopped up onions very small. I start it like this, about this thickness. Try to keep them even and then just chop them up. Again, I... Good job. They're all the same size. You pretty much, a. pretty much. Now, here, these probably could get chopped a little bit. I happen to like them big and chunky in there, but you could make it smaller. And I, we'll get into that in a second. I'll chop those. If but Betty Ann Cornwell wants to know, can you use frozen avocados? I would not. If you want it to taste like this, I would say don't, but you certainly could. And I think there... What were you saying, Lisa? Well, uh, Trader Joe's has avocado. Frozen? It's not frozen, but it comes in their, their deli section. And you can get just the straight avocado. I think it has some citric acid in it to keep it from turning brown. So that's my cheat. Okay, right. so I would like to show you how much onion I'm putting in. And again, the thing about the thing about the, this recipe is put in what how much you like. So if you don't like a lot of onion, don't put a lot of onion. But if you like a lot of tomatoes, which I happen to like, so I'll show you how much I'm going to put in here. So that looks like about a quarter cup of onion, I would Probably, guesstimate. And I might add more. See, I taste it later yeah. and I add. So I'm putting in approximately about I'd say a half a cup to yeah, start. I, I but agree. I'm gonna I'm gonna start blending it together and I don't want to forget the last ingredient here and I'll review though. See now that's very sparse to me. I like it a little more and I find that people enjoy it when I really add a lot of these two ingredients. So, so I So you want it to look a certain way. Have well I certain... want it to look and taste a certain way. Yeah. So my next ingredient and I think what's great about this is you didn't over-process the avocado. They're, they're basically very small. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not blended. It's still kind of chunky. Could you still go back? Yeah. yeah, so I'm still adding a little bit more, folks. I'm going to add up everything I had here. And again, it is to your taste and what you're liking is now. As far as the last ingredient for this particular thing, I've got a, here's a towel right here. As far as the last ingredient for this particular thing, it is garlic salt. Now you can put a little black pepper too. I like that, but I like the ground pepper. So I'm gonna put in, just trinkle it around the surface. Now, if you're gonna have it with chips, like you see here, and they're salted, for me personally, I don't add that much salt because it comes off the chips. And I, and I do not 
like salt, I don't think it's very healthy. Yeah. So that's just eat as much of that as you would like. Let me jump over here a minute, Lisa. Okay, well, we'll look at the other ingredients. So you've yeah, got, go you've got uh, buns with sesame seeds on it. You have Heinz ketchup, Daya, American style cheese slices. Daya has made, their products have improved so much. It's like it's a different company. I love the Daya American slices. It's delicious. And you've got classic pickles. Okay. Follow your heart. I got my pepper. And another thing we forgot to mention is we have French fries that are air fried coming up thanks to Lisa Carlin. So, but let me just continue on with what I have here. All I'm right. going to put a little black pepper. Uh, if I could ever get this to open. There we go. I'm just going to sprinkle because it's going to come out. So that's more, you know, that's plenty. And that's it, folks. And just blend it together. And that's your, your guacamole. If you want them a little bit more lime, you can see. But I'm, what I'm going to do, I'll use the spoon and get rid of it. I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Good. But it needs a little something. It does. What does it need? It needs a little more lime. I'm going to grab another big spoon. It needs more lime, in my opinion. It needs a little bit more garlic salt. But as okay. far as the other ingredients, so I'm putting another maybe table teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. But again, that's up to you. Yeah. And I'm going to squeeze in the other half of the lime. Just okay. with my hands. So Betty in Cornwell wants to know about the, the difference between the Beyond Burger and the Impossible Burger. And uh, the Beyond Burger, the base of it is peas, yellow peas, uh, that are used for the protein. And the Beyond, the Impossible Burger is uh, made with soy, protein, and coconut oil. So they have slightly different ingredients, but they both, in the end, taste like meat. That's right, and I'm going to come over here and start working on that right now. Let's see what do we have in here. No, I'm going to come over here. And oh, you're going to do it. Sorry. The All right, there we Sorry, go. Lisa. All right, so and look, let's see your, your apron. Look at this apron. So Lindsay is Italian, and she's wearing an apron that is reminiscent of the flag of Italy. So my hands are clean, folks. So I'm taking this and I'm forming, and I'll tell you, this feels a little bit creepy because it totally feels like a ground beef. And I and haven't it had looks this. Like, here, let's see. Let's get right in here. Let's let people to see it. Look at that. And what's and the And I just white? wanted to say that I want to just say that I haven't had this experience of actually touching anything for five years. So I have been be vegan for five years. So what did you want to say about this? I was going to say, this? doesn't that look like ground beef? And if you want to know what the white is, that's actually the coconut oil. Okay. So now. I'm going to go ahead now and grab over here, grab this, and I'm going to put a little bit of, we have here canola and olive oil, non-GMO, and heat up the pan. Okay. So we're going to heat You're this gonna up. going to get that hot. I'm going to get this hot. And the Impossible Burgers come in a 12-ounce block. So you then have to form your own burgers. The Beyond Burger comes both ways. It comes either in a pound block or it comes in these preformed burgers. Yeah, and I just want to say that I put very, very little oil because there is coconut oil in the burgers, which will come out in a few minutes. But I do like that little bit of flavor of the oil, and this just has to go into the pot a little bit more. It just needs to melt down a little bit more. So you can see it's very sparing, and when you use a silicone uh, a pot with the, um, this is called silicone? No, it's a, it's a Teflon. Teflon, I meant yeah. to say, Teflon. Yeah, so, and then let's just take out the other. This is the Beyond Meat. Now, we want to keep them separate, Lisa said, but one of the first things that you can notice here is that one is pinker, than the other. So we know that this is the Beyond Burger. We have evidence here for our taste test later. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get the pan nice and hot. And while we do, do you wanna talk a little bit about the potato fryer? Okay, so what we did is uh, we got just regular, um, uh, these are russet potatoes? Yes. Okay, so and we peeled them. You can see them, we peeled them, and then I, you just slice them into steak fries. And this is a great, um, air fryer. There's so many different brands of air fryer. This is the Cozina, and I'm going to show you what I did. I 
toss them in just a tiny amount of oil, salt and pepper, and I put it, I set the um, air fryer to, there, 320 degrees, and I put it on for, um, what was this, 10 minutes? 10 minutes, and I wanted to see what it gave me, and look what it gave us. So they are delicious. Do you want to reach wow. inside and eat one? Yes, I'd like to try Yeah, I'd like one. to turn the heat up and make them a little crispier. Um, yeah. A little crispier, but this is just the plain oh potato. Oh my god, this has no oil, no nothing. Well, I did. I tossed in a little bit of oil to hold you the did? salt and pepper. I was working. but a very small amount. You can do it I'm without keep oil. Them. Yeah. yeah, you can do it without mm. oil. But I want to crisp it up a little bit. So let's see if this doesn't make too much noise. And let's go over here and look at these burgers. I want to show. Let's see. I'm going to turn it all the way up to the highest amount and see if we can. Okay, I hope that sound is not too bad. Okay, so we want to make sure people go. know that this is beyond meat. This is the, the impossible right. on the left. So we're going to keep the impossible yeah, and we're gonna right near sear. the handle here. And we're going to, the short handle. And over here, we're yeah, going to... Yeah, let's let it sit right in the, and let it brown on so one we side. Can, so we can tell which one is which. Right. Yeah, we don't want it to burn. Yeah, let's get it seared. Lisa? Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. So, okay, folks, so what we're going to do, we're going to let that cook. And I just wanted to show you some of my ingredients over here that we're going to be putting in the burger. So I want to show you, I'm going to put some slices of cheese. I learned this from a friend of mine, Sky Valencia. I want to give her a shout out. These pickled, beet, uh, these ooh, be ooh, bread and butter chips, these bread and butter chips go really good on a lot of stuff. So try them. Okay, and then of course we have our veganes. So if you use both of those products, we have our veganes. And um, of course, good old Heinz ketchup. And um, what else? That's about it. We're going to put some slices here. We're going to put it on a hamburger bun. And we're going to put some tomato on it. And a little bit of my guacamole. That's the topper. Now, yesterday, I tried something that was very interesting. It was stacked, and it was like a Dagwood sandwich. And so that gave me the idea that whatever, however you make your burgers, as long as you stack it up with like as much stuff as you can, they are gonna taste delicious. In fact, I have some mushrooms. I don't know, could we shoot those into the Yeah, you could just throw the it into air the air fryer. See how fast, right? Yeah, you can, you can do that. Or you can even throw it into the Hot if you want to. That's right. But um, you know what? Whatever you want. What do you think, Lisa? What have you been I think that lately, Lisa? Now, Lisa is a um, physician's committee for responsible medicine, food for life coach. Instructor. 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 It's, an instru it's a little different. And so you can look at it. different than a food for life coach? Well, there isn't a food for life coach. We're, okay. we're all, yeah, we're no, all food that, for but I'm saying, yeah. Because yeah, well, food for well, a health coach is a different is a different certification. Okay. Okay. So my certification, and I think I'll put the camera on for a second. There we go. Okay, how do I look there? I wasn't planning on being on camera today, but uh, food for life instructors we go through a training program, and uh, we have to uh, go through an extensive interview and application process. Then we go to Washington D.C. and we go through the training program, and they teach us how to t how to how to teach their, I think they have now eight different curricula. So we learn how to teach that. The, the curricula is written by the nurses and the physicians and the dietitians at Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. So I do that. If you're interested, go to PCR, pcrm.org and uh, put in Food for Life Instructors and you can pick the Food for Life Instructors in your local area and see what kind of classes they have going on. So over here I'm cutting up a mushroom. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit of what I've been up to. Lately. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. Lindsay, you have an incredible following. I think the last time I checked, 2.4 million views on all your, uh, the videos that you put up on an, or, on a, on an app called Rumble, R-U-M-B-L. And Rumble is a very unique app because everybody on there, you have to go on camera. So if you want to make a comment to someone, your face is going to be there. So what, so what I wanted to say was that um, I am getting a huge following on Rumble, and I have a channel called Planet Vegan. Okay. I have a channel called Planet Vegan, and 
it is just ripe for the message. So the reason I'm bringing this up, because I know there are a lot of vegans on here, and I would love to invite you all on to post about vegan lifestyle, vegan cooking, and it's a really great opportunity to get our message out. I've been working on this for about six months, so I'm really happy with that. In addition to my other channel, which is um, In an LA Minute, which I talk about my life as an actress. And um, in LA, and just all the fun things that I get to do. So I'm feeling like these burgers are just about ready. So I'm going to- Yeah, it looks nice and brown on. Yeah, we know they we know they've been have been cooked at the same for the same length of time because we put them side by side, and you did not move them. So, well, I've been flipping. I know, them. yeah, you flipped them, but you didn't change the sides. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, plate these now and show you how I'm going to put this together. Okay. So, yeah, anybody interested? It's Rumble. It's a downloadable app, um, and it's free. It's free, and anyone can join. And the great thing, the interesting thing about this community is everyone helps everyone else. It's not about who's on the top. It's if you do good content. So, like I said, it's a really good opportunity for us to get the vegan message out. Aww. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk behind Lisa here. Okay. And grab a plate. All right. And, and let's look at these. I'm going to go ahead. Now, look at this, how it looks like it actually has blood coming out, which is kind of weird. And that's the impossible. And that's the... Um, uh, which one was on no, the left? That's that beyond, beyond me. That's the that's beyond, beyond me. That's beyond me, because remember, it was on this side. Now, the other one, impossible, doesn't have that quality. I Interesting, think... Interesting, because the leg hemoglobin is what the impossible burger is all about. So this is what it but looks like. But that actually looks more like a burger. This is what it looks like just with, I want to just show that before. I'm going to put the mushrooms on as well, and then I'm going to plate another dish of this. You're going to put some of the toppings on yeah. also. And then let's see what happened to this one. This got a little browner. Yeah, it did. It got a little browner. Do you want to, maybe I'll taste this one. Well, yeah, I'm going to put some on a plate if we have them. It got crispy. It crisped up. Good. So okay, that what I did is I turned it up to the highest one, which is 400, for about five minutes. Yeah. And it got good. really crispy. Looks like it was fried in oil. All right. So that is the impossible. Yeah. I'm sorry. That is the Beyond Meat. This is the impossible burger. Right. And we're going to put the onions because now it's hard to see the top. Whoops. I dropped a couple. Excuse my fingers. I washed okay. my hands. Cooking is all about using your hands and your fingers. You just okay. have to be clean about it. We'll just leave it like that for now. Okay. So we know which is which. Maybe we should keep it together. Should we keep them together like this? Well, I guess when we're done, we know where it goes back. So let me let me load this one. So I'm gonna start So this is this is impossible here. And this one over here is beyond, right? Yeah, I'm gonna start. Uh, okay, so we'll do that. Up. Okay, good. But we'll just keep them separate. So I'm going to start loading this up. I'm going to put a little bit of vegan A's on it. So this is a delicious plant-based, no eggs, Excuse me. called Veginays. And it's from Follow Your Heart. And I think that it's, it's sold Veginase, in... Veginays, vegan A's, what difference says it make? Okay. No, I'm just kidding. No, I always say, I know it's Veginays, but I... Is it tomato or tomato? Come on, right. Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do is scoop a big scoop of guacamole. Wow. And then I'm going to... Oops, I don't have any slices. So I'm going to take a slice of tomato. Okay. Get right in A couple here. of slices. So I just did thin, you know, I'm just kind of quickly throwing this together. Now, if you like a whole onion slice, whoops, you can have one. Okay. And then you've got, what do we have left? Mustard have cheese and cheese and ketchup. And pickles. You know, I'm not going to load it with all of that stuff. Okay. I'm just showing that you can also add these ingredients. But let's, let's compare apples to apples. So let's just kind of go 
with this and know that you can add more to do our taste test. Okay. Is anybody voting yet on the taste test? Let's see. Has anybody registered a vote? So I need to do if this If you one. can, that would be great. Okay. Tom wants to. So the app is called Rumble. R is in Richard, U-M-B-L. Yes. Tell oh, Betty Ann Cornwell says the Impossible Burger. Great. Okay. Tom wants to know how long you cook it. Really till it's brown on both sides, probably about six or six to eight minutes. So, oh, someone says, I think you have them switched. Impossible no. looked flatter, flatter, and the other one is supposed to bleed. No, the one that yeah. bled, we... The one that bled was really the Beyond Burger. Yeah, we, yeah, we made yeah sure. I thought the same thing. I'll go back to the beginning of the... Go back to the beginning of the video, and we'll see how we... <laughs> if we made a mistake. We thought the... we did. We thought the... The Beyond was on the left by the handle. Yes, no, by, by, that's no. What it was. No, the Beyond was over here, so right? The Beyond was on that side. On this and side. That's the one that bled. Right, okay. And then this one, and that's the one I took off. This okay. is the impossible. Okay. So this is the second one I'm setting up. This is, if, I, if I'm right, I could be wrong, but I think it's the impossible. And anyway, you guys can go back and look yourself. I mean, the contest is just to have some fun, you know, because I think they're both excellent products. Yeah. And there's no, you can't go wrong with either. It's just your, like yeah. this. All this food is very low key. You put on what you like. I only like a couple of slices of onion on mine. And we forgot the lettuce. So you could put a slice of lettuce as well if you want. So we'll just do that on both. And I think we need to kind of try these because our, I think um, it's getting too tall to eat on camera. But do know that you can add other condiments. I don't know if I would do the pickles with the guacamole, but just to, to know you can use the pickles, I wanted to add that. Some people would say, why aren't you putting on the cheese? But you know, for right now, I'm not going to, but just kind of mix it up and do your thing. That's the whole idea. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is, let's put a little plate for the fries, and then we'll go ahead and do our contest. Okay, so just reach inside. Yeah, I'll just with my hand again. And we do have some ketchup for these. I have to tell you, the air fryer is my one of my favorite tools in my kitchen at home. Wow, I can't believe how oily these feel. Yeah, well Where I does just that all come from? I did. I put I oh, put a little I put oil. a little bit of oil on it. Wow. But you can do it without any oil at all. But I knew Lindsay liked oil, so I didn't want to impose my no oil. <laughs> <laughs> cooking technique on yeah. Lindsay because this is her show today. Yeah, we all we have a differing opinion about using a little bit of oil sparingly. I do realize you can cut back a lot, but I don't totally want to take it out of my diet, especially because uh, I think it helps lubricate your skin on yeah. the oil. But um, you know, and I'm getting to the point where I need a little lubrication. Yeah, if you know what I mean. So yeah. That's why I look at my point of view, and everyone's got their own. You know, and that's what yeah. makes the world beautiful. So. I guess we're ready, Lisa. Okay, Let's so try. so do you want to cut it in half? How do you want to do that? Um, yeah, so that you can... No, Lisa, I'm not sharing any of this with you. Are you there. crazy? There you go. That's okay. a good knife. So I uh, like... What chefs do, they, they just seem to know how to do this, and I don't. Yeah, so. you did it. Okay, so that... And then this one here. We, now, it's not a blind taste test because we think we know which one is which. We know which one is which. Okay, so you're going to be brave and try to take a big bite of this big thing on camera? I'm going to try and do both of them, and then you can do both. All right, let's do so that. If I make a fool of myself now, this Okay, point. do you have a napkin? Yes, we have napkins behind okay. us. All right, so let's do that. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. Yes, thank you. And please share this video out because we want people to try. This is such a quick and easy recipe. I mean, you saw us make it right on camera, right in front of your eyes. Yep, the only thing a little bit is the preparation, you know, when you just chop stuff up ahead of time, chop, yeah. chop, chop. But I like to listen to music, my Alexa show, Yeah. and I chop it up. I'm going to wash my hands because I touched my hair, but hang on a second, folks. All right. And then I'm going to taste my food. But yeah, I mean, if you make it part, I mean, if you look up over here, we have a TV in our kitchen, so, you know, make your kitchen fun. And yeah, learn. look at this big, beautiful place. We love to film here because Lindsay has such a beautiful kitchen. Okay, you ready to go? I'm going to try. I'm going to get right in here. All right, you're on. Mmm. 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 Reminiscent of your days? When you used to eat meat? 
I wouldn't know the difference. If I ate that, it's got that little textural feel that hamburger meat you had. But and which one was that? This one is the, this one. The Impossible. Impossible okay. Burger, okay? All right, so you're gonna come over. it got a nice texture to it. Yeah. And I really like that. So now I'm gonna try this one. Okay. And let's see, this is the bleedy one, the bleedy one, so we know it's the beyond. Well, the bleedy one is supposed to be the Impossible, but this was the Beyond. Mm. Okay, she's gotta finish chewing okay, a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, so what do you think? Yeah, it's really hard when you do these class, you do these shows because you take a mouthful and then you have to talk. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's really hard for me to choose. I love them both. Which so, one tastes meatier to you? This one mimics meat more with, like I said, that gritty, that kind of texture that hamburger has. But, Impossible. Yes. So, you guys, it's up to you really which one you think. How about our fries? Yeah, go for the fries. Uh, so you know when you first make fries, they're nice and crispy, but these have been sitting a little. Mm. Yeah, the thing about the air fryers, you just have to make them crispy and serve them right away. Right away, serve. But what a great tool. And how much do they run approximately? Between $75 and $150. Mm. Lisa, do you want to try the fries? I do. Okay, let's switch off. Whoa, okay. look at this. Boy, that looks good on camera. I didn't realize if I do say so ourselves. Uh -huh. Doesn't it look good? Yeah. Okay, so, so this is, this is the sorry I put it back in the plate, okay. but I bit. That's okay. Um, I don't have this. cooties, I don't think. Oops, you let a chunk of the guac go still, out. There's still guac there. Here. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Got the hair back. What do you think? What do you think of the guacamole? You want to try that with a chip? Mm. A little more it salt? It's very meaty. It has that meaty texture to it. It just does. It, it, I used to be a meat eater, and I used to love eating meat. I was not somebody who hated it. My daughter, on the other hand, never liked it. Sorry, Lisa. just wanted to show him for a second. Never liked the taste of meat. But this tastes like a burger to me. This is the Impossible Burger. And it, and it tastes like a burger to Riley, probably, because look, he's dying for a bite. He's like, Lisa, how about a bite of that? Now, they just came in the kitchen. They weren't here. We don't normally have them here. So, boys, why don't you go outside? So, my boys are going to go outside. Here you go, Lisa. Okay. Thank I'll you. The other one. Okay. So get out your frying pan, grab some ingredients that you love, make some homemade guacamole, which you can use with your chips or with on the burger. So what did you think of that, Lisa? You want a second more? Look at that. This Isn't also that good? has a meaty taste. Pre I mean, if I had to pick, honestly, I'd pick the Beyond Burger. I think it has an overall rounder flavor. I don't know how else to, to describe it. And the taste of meat. And if you like the taste of meat, I think this one tastes meatier. <laughs> Maybe for me, I just want to forget meats in there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like them both. Yeah. And I think it's great. And you can also put them on the grill. And when you put them on the grill, make sure your grill is not super hot, hot enough to get it to sear, but you want to be able to get the inside cooked. The inside is cooked on these. So I, over 4th of July, I barbecued a lot of Miami burgers. And now, and I will, great. sorry, Lisa. And now that we have this format or this served like this, I'm going to try some, making some Italian meatballs with this. I've never tried before, but I think impossible meatballs homemade could be really delicious. Perhaps uh, my next time on, or our next time on, Lisa's going to be uh, selecting the, um, mm. the recipe. So we, you know, she's an amazing chef. I'm just kind of a, a person that's vegan that needs to learn how to cook for myself because, frankly, I never enjoyed cooking. But since I've been doing all this, I'm starting to really like it. Because look at all the great food you can make. And next time that it's uh, my turn to pick the recipes, I'm going to make some Italian, vegan Italian food. So. And what's so nice. Now, Beyond Meat comes both in, you know, it comes in the, the block like this. This is the impossible. Or you can get it already preformed burgers. So you can get it in this block form as well. Impossible only comes in the block form. And right now, um, I think 
uh, Burger King is selling the Impossible Burger and uh, Carl's Jr. And a, and a couple other ones are selling That's the right. Beyond Meat. But they just began selling the Impossible Burger in retail stores. So I bought this today at Gelson's. Okay, so cool. thank you, Gelson's. Thank you to Gelson's. I thought I'd just give you my opinion of my guacamole. Yeah, it was so delicious. I if I put enough salt. Yours is almost like a mojito because it has the taste of lime and the salt. Actually, I put a little more lime and a little more, I put a little bit more um, garlic salt. Mm. But it's good, I think, if I do yeah. say so myself. Yeah. We'll definitely finish it. Okay, folks, well, looks like we're going to wrap this up. Let me just come around this side. Okay. Oops. Oh, and don't we'll... move. There we go. So it's Lindsay Baker and Lisa Carlin live for... Jane and Shane News and Lunch Break Live. Woohoo! Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Don't forget to vote. Check oh, back. yeah, vote. Put your comment. Put and your... share, 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 share. <laughs>